Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Ikiwi and welcome to 5 tips on creating smooth line art part 1. I'm going to split this into two parts just so it's easier to digest and it's not overwhelming. Tip number one is to draw towards yourself. The reason why you do this is because when you draw towards yourself you have more control. Whereas if you draw away from yourself you have less control. For example, if you are drawing hair and you draw towards yourself, then you can lift up the pen and create a sharp edge. However, if you draw away from yourself, then you may lift up at the wrong moment and create lines that you did not want. Tip number two is to take your time. Too many times have I messed up a drawing just because I didn't take my time when outlining, if I rush it, then so many mistakes can happen, I can smear the pen, I can make the wrong line, maybe it's completely off from what I wanted, and these mistakes can be avoided if I took my time. It is definitely important in creating nice line art and smooth line art, and it is definitely something that I've been working on. The third tip is to rotate the page to make it easier to outline. So the reason why I say this is because if you rotate the page, you can always be drawing towards yourself, which was the first tip. If your page is taped to a desk or any hard surface and you want to outline something at an angle, you're going to have to rotate your body in a weird way and it might cause some mistakes when outlining. I've definitely had this before when I try to tape down an image to show you guys so you guys didn't have to worry about all the rotation, but when I tried to outline it, it can get a little bit messy and awkward. Tip number four is to try to do it in one stroke, and this is usually applies to something that you want to have a smooth line. I'm not saying to do the entire drawing in one stroke, but you see in this example that I do you want to do parts of it in one stroke. You want to avoid sketching with the ink, which I show right now in this don't example. When you're sketching with the ink, there are many chances that you can make a mistake and it wouldn't be smooth line art. If it is the effect you're going for, then by all means go ahead and do it. But if you want smooth line art, say for like a leg or for hair, you don't want to do this sketching motion. And the last tip for this part one is to embrace the mistakes. Now I know this sounds a little bit contradictory to what I've been saying, but this is to challenge yourself to use the line to your advantage and especially if you are working on a piece for a long time and then you accidentally make a mistake. You want to use it instead of starting over, unless you really want to start over. But if you can use the mistake and incorporate it into your drawing instead, then it's much more advantageous for you. And there are plenty of times in my videos where my line doesn't go exactly where I want it, and sometimes I just go with it, I don't go over it again, or sometimes I do, say like the hair. If I miss the line completely and like the shape of her head is weird, then I'll just go over another line and incorporate that line into her hair instead. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys and you kind of see it in the example. So that wraps up part one of tips on how to create smooth line art. Keep an eye out for part two, which will be five more tips on how to create smooth line art. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this tip video and want to see more tips videos. So with that, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Keep drawing, keep painting, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!